Jason Kelsey taken to police station after throwing Penn State student's phone. On Saturday, November 2, the brawl broke out outside Penn State's Beaver Stadium, while Jason was attending the Ohio State-Penn State football game, Jason Kelsey is facing serious charges. Jason Kelsey's disorderly conduct and several counts of property damage have made the situation extremely serious. Travis Kelsey is reportedly at the police station to bail out his brother Jason Kelsey, however, the incident is not as simple as we think. Specifically, Jason Kelsey smashed a Penn State football fan's phone after the troublemaker called his brother, Travis Kelsey, a bad word. In the video, the retired Philadelphia Eagle star, who was outside Beaver Stadium in State College. Pa, to watch the Penn State Ohio State game, can be seen walking while football fans surround him, as the person filming the video raises a fist toward Jason, 36, and calls him names in response. Another man nearby yells a homophobic slur at the retired Philadelphia Eagles star, Hey, Kelsey. How do you feel about your brother dating Taylor Swift? The man asks, using the slur to refer to Travis, who has been dating Swift, 34, since 2023. Seconds later, Jason turns around, grabs the man's phone out of his hand and slams it on the ground, looks like a Penn State student just threw himself at Kelsey for no reason, the first ex-user to post the clip wrote alongside it. Wild scene in State College Additional footage circulating on X shows a close-up of Jason smashing the phone on the asphalt, before picking it up and walking away. The phone's owner, who was wearing a Penn State hoodie at the time of the incident, can be seen in multiple clips walking close behind and appearing to be recording Jason before the fight breaks out, another footage shared on X, apparently taken after Jason smashed the man's phone, shows the hooded Penn State fan walking through the crowd to pick up his phone from the ground. Give me your phone, man, he appears to tell Jason, the former NFL player who first grabbed the device then stands in front of the man and says, who the FK is that, as others appear to intervene. Security quickly arrived and took Jason Kelsey and the hooded student back to headquarters for questioning. At the headquarters, a person in charge said that both of them shook hands and made peace. They admitted their mistakes and did not blame anyone. However, this incident still needs to be investigated and clarified because both of them had made serious statements.